In this video, I'm going to show you how to investigate different types of logic gates. Okay, so this program on the left is a program called Logically. All right, and uh, this or uh, this is in your uh, your uh, your presentation. All right, and this program on on the right is of course OneNote. Okay, so uh, this page in OneNote you will find in your notebook. Okay, so the first thing you need to do uh, when you're doing your investigation into logic gates is open this page in uh, OneNote, okay? Now, the first gate that we're gonna start with is an AND gate, okay? So to investigate an AND gate, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come down to here and I'm gonna click on the AND gate and I'm going to drag it uh, down to here, okay? And I'm gonna get rid of the properties. And as you can see, my AND gate has got two inputs, all right? Now, I have called these uh, in, uh, in OneNote, I've called it input A and input B, okay? And then, so it's got two inputs and it's got one output, which is here, all right? And that's here as in the output, all right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a circuit using this uh, logic gate so I can find out what it does. So I'm going to grab this toggle switch, which I'm going to put in there, and I'm going to create a, a, a wire that goes from the toggle switch to um, one of the inputs on the AND gate. I'm going to grab another toggle switch, okay? And I'm going to draw another wire from uh, there to the gate. Okay, now uh, I've nearly finished my circuit, but uh, to finish it off, I just need to add um, something so I can see what gets output. All right, so I'm going to add a light bulb, and I'm going to create a wire to go from the uh, from the gate to the light bulb. Okay, so this is my circuit set up, and now I can do my investigation. Okay, so um, what I'm going to start with is what happens if both my switches are off. All right, so at the moment you can see that both my switches are off and uh, my bulb is also off. So I'm going to write that into one note just here. I'm going to put uh, off and off and then uh, the output of my bulb is off. Okay, so now what I'm going to do uh, is I'm going to try and turn one of the switches on. So I'm going to pretend this is switch A and I'm going to turn this one on. Okay, so you can see it's on because it's gone blue and I've got some current going through my wire. Okay, so this time... In my uh, one note, I'm going to put that A is on, uh, B is still off, and my bulb, unfortunately at the moment, is still off. Okay, uh, so uh, I've tried that. Now I'm going to turn this switch off, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn switch B on. And I'm going to find out what happens. Okay, so this is switch B. You can see it's on. So this time uh, A is off, B is on, and the output from that is the bulb is still off. Okay, I'm not having much luck so far. All right, so I'm going to switch this off. Um, well, if you think about it, what's the final combination that I've got to do? I've got to test, all right? Well, of course, the final combination is what happens if A is on and B is on. So what happens if I turn both the switches on, all right? So if I turn this switch on and I turn this switch on, finally, my bulb comes on. Okay, now, what I've just done here is I've just created a truth table. This is called a truth table. And it shows you the output of the AND logic gate. Okay, and you can see when we have an AND gate, the only time that our AND gate will provide an output, that our output will be on, is when both of our inputs are also on. Okay, now your job is to investigate the other gates. All right, so see if you can find out what an OR gate does, an OR gate, an AND gate, an XOR, and a NOT gate. All right, good luck.